Happy first December, and as you saw from the intro, I'm going to show you guys how you can make the Weeping Angel in Minecraft. And uh, before we go and get into that, please join my Discord. I give you guys notifications of when I stream, and when I post, and as well as you guys can ask questions if you're wondering about anything. And yeah, you get like announcements and stuff. But let's get, back, let's get back into the video. Um, this Weeping Angel is fully multiplayer friendly, so you can have multiple people. So for example... If my friend here, if I know the play, a player that is here looking at this guy whilst I'm looking away, this guy won't move. As well as we can have multiple of these at the same time. So if I, for example, only look at this one right here, these other guys are going to move. And they all move independently, which is pretty nice. Oh my days, I just died. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, let's go back into creative mode and kill all these guys. So to start this out you have to add a scoreboard, right? So basically you go in chat and type in slash scoreboard objectives, add ID dummy, press enter and you're good. And here we have some signs to kind of show you guys what the different stuff does. So first things first is the ID system is to make them make it multiplayer friendly. I have another video where I kind of go more in depth into this, but you guys just pause the video and copy it. Next here is for the zombie effects, because this is actually a zombie that gets spawned. And as you can see right here, we have some speed, invisibility, resistance, strength, and so on. This one right here is to make it so the armor stand copies the zombie's ID. Pretty nice. Look detection. This is basically when you're looking at it, it will remo remove the attack tag so it doesn't attack you. And when you're looking away from the Weeping Angel, it will start attacking by giving itself the attack tag. Pretty nice. Next up here, this one right here is five ticks. This is basically to make the grindstone, uh, like the grindstone sound. Basically, when it's moving, it makes this cool sound. This sound right here. Wait, you hear that? That's the grindstone sound. And this one right here uh, stops the sound. So when you're looking at it again, it stops doing the moving sound. And then this one right here uh, makes it so the zombie doesn't talk. Basically, because it is a zombie, and I don't really want to listen to the zombie sounds when it's a weeping angel and not a zombie. So added this as well then right here this is for the tp this is the tp the armor stand to the zombie and this one right here is the tp the arm stand to the zombie but it's going to be facing me when i'm not looking at the um zombie so basically right now it's looking that way but if i look away like this the arm stand is looking at me again that's basically what it is uh, about so if i do this it's staring at me again and then next one right here, this is to make the zombie not move when he's being looked at. So basically just copy this and you're good. And then now we can move on to the armor stand part, right? So I'm just put this in my inventory. Basically grab yourself an armor stand like this and this and get some leather armor. Boom, boom, boom. And then get, uh, for my design, I use skull. You can customize the design however you want. But if you just want to keep it simple, just copy me. And then get a dye. Get the light gray dye. Go in here. Have some normal water in there. Oh, I put this. So let me actually get some water so I can show you guys. So water. Put in a cauldron. Put the light gray dye in. Boom, boom, boom. Then you go over to this structure block. The structure block, you got to name it WP. Put the size to one, 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 and the Y offset to one. And then down here, include entities and remove blocks. And you should be good. And of course, as, as I said, name it WP. Place the armor stand on top of it. The rotation doesn't matter. Then you place the stuff you want on, on your armor stand. Then you give it an emote uh, if you want. I put this emote. And then you name it Weeping Angel by going into this anvil right here. Typing in Weeping Angel. Name it like this, press save, and you're good. And that's basically for the saving of the armor stand. You can customize the design however you want. And now for the simplicity of, um, you know, making or spawning it, because uh, if you don't have this spawning uh, mechanism uh, set down, it's going to be quite like tedious to spawn it. So first thing here, this just tests for Weeping Angel spawn egg. And then summons the zombie. It's kind of important to summon the zombie first, or else it can get a little bit messy if you summon the armor stand first instead of the zombie. This one loads the armor stand, and then this one right here kills the spawn egg. 
So, to get the spawn egg, basically, um, I choose the Vex, because I thought it looked cool. So, you can actually name any spawn egg to this, but just do the Vex for now. And then basically go into the Anvil, and then you type in Weeping, Angel, sp uh, Spawn, Egg, like this. And remember, um, Command Blocks is a very specific language, you gotta have like the same capitals as you name it inside the Command Block. Basically, when you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. And I can spawn as many of these as you want. And as well, if you want the darkness effect from the beginning of the video, it's just inside of this command block right here and just put it to repeat always active and it'll just give you darkness effect. But now you're pretty much done and you can have this fun little entity inside of your own world, which is pretty nice. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as I said, please join my Discord link in the description, as well as please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.